Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jackie. Oh, why am I so offbeat to no music? Jacket, 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 jacket. So it's bright and early, and for me, that is any time before 12 noon. I have a meeting to go to, I have a brunch to go to. After that, I have a full day of plans. And I was just talking about on Twitter how much I miss makeup tutorials. Just figured why not do a video where we're just getting ready, chatting, like, I don't know, like the way it used to be. I miss get ready with me, sis. Like what, where, where did we go wrong? So I'm gonna be going to a Friendsgiving today with NARS, basically like their way of like having a Thanksgiving, but with like influencers. So it's gonna be really fun. I'm using the Pore and Shine Control Primer. I'm sure there's probably gonna be like product launches and you know, PR stuff and whatever. So I do anticipate all of that. But look, as long as there's food there, <laughs> You can catch me there. I used to be so bah humbug about Christmas and Thanksgiving. Like I just didn't really care. But that was the old me. That was me like three, four years ago. I don't know what came over me, but all of a sudden I just started really getting into it, girl. One thing about me is when it comes to like house tours and I'm I'm a little like <laughs> But I am thinking about doing maybe like a holiday home decor where I just show maybe like my living room. I get so much inspiration from YouTube and a part of me is just kind of like, oh, you gotta give back to the, you gotta give back to the community, sis. I like seeing how people decorate their homes, not because I wanna be like all in their business or anything or I'm trying to calculate their income because a lot of people do that. I love, love, love seeing how people put things together. I think it's a lot more practical to see it in video than it is in pictures because pictures can be hella deceiving. This is my sheer glow. This is like my tried and true daytime and I only use two pumps. That was my Laura Mercier powder that I just set my primer with, by the way. I always have to like reintroduce that to a lot of people because they're like, why the hell is she putting powder on her face before she puts on the foundation? Frequently asked question, does it make your foundation cakey? I would never do something that makes me look cakey, you know, like I just wouldn't. Um, that'd be kind of pointless. The reason why I put powder on top of my primer is to help control oil and shine throughout the day. I just find that my base lasts a lot longer when I powder down my primer first. And I do get a lot of questions from people with dry skin that say, would this you know, be counterproductive for someone like me? And I mean, I, that's, I guess it's kind of a question you'd have to ask yourself because I don't know what the severity of your skin's like. Like everyone's dry skin severity is different because sometimes I even feel like my skin's dry. Especially like last night, I did some micro needling, and usually immediately after any type of like exfoliant or peel or micro needling, my skin is more dry than normal in certain places, right? So it just honestly, it just depends on what your skin can handle. Like I can't tell you what is going to work for you and what won't. A lot of people try different ways, like different modified ways of doing this trick. I've seen people like brush the powder on. I've seen people, I've just seen people do a lot of things. I don't think that brushing it on works because I don't think you're really pushing the powder into the skin the way it needs to be. Versus if you were doing it with like a sponge or like, you know, I love those like cotton rounds, those flat things. The ones that everyone usually throws away, yeah, those are really helpful. Okay, these old school bad boys, I'm just saying that when it comes to that technique, there's a really specific way I think you have to do it to really get it to work. And I think it also depends on the foundation that you use and da 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 da, but play around with it. It's like changed my face game. So we got into a really interesting, conversation yesterday on Twitter about like why a lot of YouTubers don't, I don't even think it was like intentionally meant to like become a deep conversation. But you know, sometimes you know when you tweet something and then it will like take on a life of its own. It'll just become its own thread and discussion. A lot of people I think wonder why, like why don't YouTubers do makeup tutorials anymore? Why is it all about reviews or reviews? We all know that YouTubers like this is a business and like we want our channels to do well and we want our channels to grow. And obviously if we, see that our audience likes something, we're going to continue doing that, you know? There's content that YouTubers do for ourselves because it just makes us happy and it makes us feel good. Then there's content that we do for you guys that like, eh, it doesn't really fulfill anything for me, but like, I know people really like this and I'm just gonna do it, okay? So as a YouTuber, you're constantly, I'm using NARS Creamy Radiant, by the way. <laughs> These get ready with me's can be so confusing because I'm like really trying to get ready, but then I also have to be mindful that I'm, t I'm walking you through the steps as I go. And I really gotta get ready because I don't wanna be late. As I was saying, so there's there's content that we as YouTubers put up that fulfills you guys' inner happiness. And then there's content that we do for us, you know? 
the stuff that really helps us I think stay sane. Like this is just what I have to do because I just genuinely enjoy it, right? It takes a lot to balance that fine line. I think that for years, the reason why my channel wasn't growing, and I know this for a fact, I don't mean this like in a I think or I'm just speculating, I know this for a fact. For a long time, I was doing too much content for me and not enough content for you guys. Over the years, I've also come to realize that people don't like tutorials and how to's the way that they used to, because YouTube has been around for so long that it's like, how many eyelash application videos do we need? You know what I mean? And I even feel like that. So I just feel like there's so much that's already been done. It's like, we, we already know how to do smoky eyes, bro. And honestly, people are gonna be like, well, we wanna see your technique, blah, blah. Well, one, I, I, I do have quite a bit of videos that teach a lot of techniques, like a lot. And if you feel like you aren't getting it yet, just some advice is just to keep practicing. You know, it doesn't matter how many tutorials you watch on YouTube. If you're not practicing it, you're never going to learn. And I think that, you know, when I get requests for people to like, oh, can you update it? Can you do a, di a new version? Like, it's just that ain't new, sis. You just got to practice it. <laughs> Because the how-tos and like instructional type of videos have already been done so much, I guess reviews are like the new way of getting fresh new content. I mean, unless you do like challenges and stuff, but not everybody wants to do. Personally, I find challenges like, I'm, I'm glad that that has died down. I, I really am glad that that died down because the beginning of this year and last year was just on some weird, I don't know what the heck was going on. It started to become like weird, like, 3,000 layers of alimony. It was just like, yo, bro, like we get it, you know? People were just like fascinated by the weirdness of it all. Don't be so hard on us YouTubers when we don't do how-to tutorials anymore because we are starting to feel like, one, they're beaten to the ground and beyond overdone because they kind of are. I I'm not saying I won't ever do them at all. That's definitely not true. Like even a couple videos ago, I was doing videos on like how to find the perfect nudes and how to keep your summer foundation from looking too cakey. Like, I still do videos like that every so often. I'm speaking for me now, just me specifically, not YouTubers in general. But the reason why I focus more on reviews is because I genuinely enjoy them. There's always something to, new to talk about. And I know that you guys love them. You guys are constantly, constantly, constantly asking me to give the tea on new products. It's just interesting to see how this turn of events of how YouTube has evolved into what it is now. I got a real important meeting today with some real important people. Okay, back to Laura, Auntie Laura's powder. I'm gonna forever buy this powder. I think that she could be one shade, a little bit lighter, just a little bit. Sometimes I feel like this may be teeter-tottering on the line of being too dark for my under eye, but I don't care. I did want to talk about one of the reasons why I don't do makeup tutorials as often, because it kind of makes me sad. Like I watch, Jaclyn Hills and the Carly Bibles and the Casey Holmes. And I'll see comments on their channels from people saying, um, and this is not to fault them at all. Don't think just because I said their name that this is shade at them. I love these girls, okay? Um, but I'll see comments from people like, I'm so glad you've never sold out and you still do tutorials and, and all these other YouTubers just do reviews and blah, blah, blah. And I think that what people don't understand is like, sis, like not everybody can grow their channel. Like no one's checking for like dark skin girls on YouTube for tutorials. Like, did you ever think about that? Like. I wish that I could do just tutorials and get millions of views just on that. Like, that'd be great. That'd be freaking wonderful because I'm gonna do my makeup anyway. The reason why a lot of YouTubers stick to whatever content they stick to is because it's helping their channel grow. Anastasia Brow is, by the way, in dark brown. And if your channel's not growing, then you might not see that type of comment. You might not see that type of content too often. It's very unfortunate. You know, I get lots of comments like, oh, I love your videos, even though I'm white, like in spite of the fact that I don't look like you, you know, which I think is interesting because like, I don't ever see comments like that on Jaclyn Hill's page, or I don't ever see comments like that on Nikki Tutorial's page, or even like some of you guys will tell me like, oh, my friends talk crap because I watch you and I'm white and they be talking crap. Like, what are you watching her for? Like, what the hell is that supposed to be, sis? You know, these people just got the game twisted. People in this world really just think, if someone doesn't look like me, then I can't learn. There's nothing for me to benefit or learn from them. How sad is that? That's so sad. Look, there are so many people from YouTube and I get that everybody wants to be able to find somebody that they can relate to. Hell, that's why I started my YouTube channel. I, I get it completely. But I think sometimes people take it a little too far 
and they take it a little too like literal like you can't even associate yourself with someone who looks different than you and that's kind of sad you know like i mean if people think that way about who you watch on youtube imagine how else they apply that mindset to other people you know or other scenarios i know that this sounds probably a lot deeper than what you signed up for today but i just wanted to i guess give some perspective i do know that in a lot of ways i am looked at as the token black girl it is what it is i don't take offense to it i wish it wasn't like that but there are so many men and women who are of darker skin who just don't get you know the time of day like the kids are just not the girls are just no one supporting them because they're looking at their thumbnails and they're like, nah, she's not the right color, sis. Like, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to like give that a shot. You know, like there's nothing for me there. So I'm not even gonna bother. And that's why it's like, you can't just makeup tutorials is not enough anymore. Like you have to start doing other things. I'm not saying you have to sell out. I'm not saying that you have to compromise the integrity of your channel at all. I don't feel like I've done that. Have I changed in some people's eyes? Absolutely, freaking lutely But you know what people don't realize is that I never really changed, I just got more comfortable on camera. I said, oh, this was chatty. This, I told y'all I was gonna keep me chatty, okay? And can I just say how much of a blessing it is to be able to like have this platform. Yeah, like I talk about race a lot because you know what? I'm really comfortable doing it and I don't really feel like it should be as taboo as people try to make it in the beauty community. And you know what? I'm just hella thankful that you guys give me the chance to do that and you don't shame me for it. So everybody who watches me and everybody who understands why I'm vocal in the way that I am, and you're still super supportive, like, I love you guys so much for that. I feel like the longer I've had microblading, the more I've grown to appreciate it. It's like the best decision I've ever made. Oh, I already know this video is gonna be so long. Um, okay, I've been loving this palette, so I'm gonna go in with the Peachy Mattes from Too Faced. It's probably my favorite palette this year, and that says a lot. And it smells so good, oh! Okay, I'm gonna take chocolate no, I'm gonna take Just Right, this one here. I haven't formally announced this on YouTube, but I think I'm gonna do like a small snippet announcement later on. I, I actually got the opportunity to start a Facebook show. I figured, why don't I just start posting my like favorites and stuff that I really love on a weekly basis on Facebook. So it's literally one video a week. It's looking like it's going to be like a Saturday upload or a Sunday, and I have already started it. I will leave a link in the description box to the new channel. It's called Auntie Jackie's Faves on Facebook and you can subscribe, follow the page, you'll get one video every single week, probably like a Sunday, Saturday, Sunday situation. And I will literally, the show is called 90 Seconds or Less. So I'm just spotlighting like one product that I really, really love. It's 90 seconds, you get like the meat and potatoes. It's just short, quick, to the point, and then you move on. The first product that I featured on the show was actually the Too Faced Peachy Mats. So if you wanna see what I like about this palette, you can head on over and watch the snippet on my um, on my new page. And yes, of course, please subscribe so you don't miss new uploads on there too. So we get more daily doses of Jackie. Oh. Oh. Okay, so fun fact about Morphe affiliates, not all of us are scammers. Got some interesting comments, which I kind of feel like people were just trolling, honestly. This is Peach Sangria. Some comments from our last video were like, ugh, you're a Morphe affiliate now. Like, okay, I still gave you a review with both pros and cons, so what's the issue? You're just mad I'm making money because I gave you a good unbiased review. I gave you the good, the bad, and the ugly. I said what I liked and didn't like about Morphe, not only from the product, but as a brand. And you're still mad that I'm getting paid? Like, sis, it's just personal. It's like, I can't. I don't know what to tell you. You know, everybody says they want honesty on YouTube, but they really don't. They really don't. Cause when they get it, they're still complaining. So, okay girl. Okay, fun fact about me, I love layering powders. My beauty bakery, yellow. I'm gonna dab off the excess. You know, the most annoying thing, I got a pimple right here, like right on my under eye crease. And it's like a literal, not, like a colored scar, it's like a textured scar. So it just makes the indenture here look so much more overstated. That's my phone. <laughs> this is like my routine that I do when I kind of need my face to be on for a little bit. I don't go into as much detail with Get Ready With Me's because I don't think that's, that's, not, that's not the point, right? Like you're supposed to just kind of chat and like go, go as you go. So that's what I'm doing. Now I'm gonna take my loaded palette from NARS. This icy silver color actually it's more like a taupe i'm going to put that in the middle whenever i go to a brand event 
or like a party um, or a launch. When I can, I try to, you know, like wear as much of that brand as I possibly can, just because it's professional, you know, like, hey, you know, I appreciate the support, so I'm here wearing your products. I do a lot of stuff with NARS. They're one of the few big brands that I work with regularly, which is nice because girl got bills to pay. I'm gonna take Le Bronze from Artist Couture. My highlighter, oh, my favorite highlighter, and put that right on top in the middle. This is, in my opinion, the best rose gold highlighter slash eyeshadow. It's just an everything, okay? It's a multi-purpose product. It's the best rose gold blend highlight on the planet. I'm just saying, call me biased. Call me Susan, call me Helen. I don't care what you wanna call me. Which may or may not be coming back. <clears throat> but you didn't hear that from me. You did not hear that from me or this channel. If anyone asks, I have no clue who said that. I don't know, I don't even, what is LeBron's? I don't even know what that is. This looks so good. So good on the eyes. We're gonna put that to the side because I'm gonna be using that a little bit later too. Okay, so now I'm gonna dust off the powder and the fallout and the shadows or whatever. And then I'm gonna add my favorite mascara of all time, girl. This is better than sex. Shout out to everybody in Croatia though. I saw those comments from my last video. I think I wanna start doing that regularly where I'm like, yo, if you're in Belgium, if you're in Belgium, fam, I need to know in the comments. I don't know, it's just so cool that almost, like, almost two million. We're so close, we are so close. You guys know who else is close to? Freaking Patricia Bright is like this close girl. Like I'm rooting for her. I'm so rooting for her. If you are not subscribed to her, you need to be now. That is one funny human. You guys would really, if you like my content, you're gonna love Patricia. Isn't it funny how I went from like never wearing lashes to like never not wearing them? Absolute current obsession. This is like the Kat Von D shade and light palette for black girls, I swear to you. Maybe a modified version with the blush and like a couple other things. The coffee and cocoa palette from Beauty Bakery, like what the heck is, what the heck is going on over there? I just need to know guys. This has totally replaced my Shea Moisture bronzer. It's really hard to find really, really dark bronzers. It really is. Like I get it, like you can only go so bronze so dark because then the darker it is, it's like at that point it's not even a bronzer anymore. So I get it. Brands are doing it, so like why aren't you doing it? I'm confused. I'm gonna take this off and don't judge the hairline, okay? Because we're not wearing her up today. Thank you. I really, really like this because it's actually got a bronzer that is dark enough for me. It's like rare that I find something that's too dark to where I have to scale back. But this one, I can use a little bit of time and I have to build it up. It's really, really nice. It's a beautiful color. It's not too warm, it's not too cool. I'm not gonna use the blushes in here because this is all very like peachy. Yeah, I want more pink for today's look. In case you've ever wondered, do I draw in my mole? I absolutely do, because <laughs> she gets covered with foundation, so I just take a little bit of liner and boop. I don't think you guys realize how much you know what I get for like, being so vocal. It really does take a lot to be vocal. And if it didn't, a lot of other people would be doing it, you know? Really, 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 really appreciate the support. Like the people who, I, I'm just, I'm really thankful. I really am. Popping in my lashes. You guys, my outfit today, <laughs> you're gonna die. On camera, this really does look like a lot of lash because it really curls up, but in pictures, in person, she's fire, girl. I'm gonna shake up a little bit of my Dolce Vita blush. I really, 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 really love cream and liquid blushes. So all you need is one pump. Oh, that was a nice delicate pump too. Did I show you guys my brush holders? Look how cute these are. From Etsy, my rose gold brush. I have four of them, two on this side and two on this side. Do you see how distracted I get? I can't help it, I'm sorry. I actually don't even think I need the brush today. I like the way that applied. Yeah, NARS, if I could just get more of these. These were definitely like one of my favorite things to launch this year is these blushes along with their liquid lipsticks. I think it was about time we got a liquid lipstick from NARS. Let me show you something about the Cocoa and Cream palette. This is like a powder highlight color that I like using just underneath my cheekbone to make it look more carved. It's a highlight. I can do all of the same shading and light goodness with like a Kat Von D palette, but those shades don't work for my skin tone. So instead you can kind of do the same thing with this. Back to LeBron's. In my opinion, the world's best rose gold highlighter. Just saying, I may be biased. And she may or may not be coming back. I don't know yet. I don't know. I can't confirm. And I'm gonna take my Sigma brush right in this area and 
you can't tell me that's not stunning. There's no rose gold highlighter like this. The only thing that even comes close to LeBron's is Ginger Bench and Moscow Mule. This is Ginger Bench and Moscow Mule. Well, it's actually just Moscow Mule. Um, That's way more pink and this is way more rose gold coppery, almost kind of, LeBron's almost kind of coppery. Okay, and then I love layering my highlighters, so I'm gonna put one more that I can't talk about. Highlight on top, just a teen surge, just to kind of like brighten her up a little bit. I'm also gonna put that same one in the inner tear duct. There's no Jackie Ina without a tear duct. There just isn't, it's just, it's just not a thing, it's just, no, I've never heard of her. I'm gonna take my Peach Mist Mattifying Setting Spray. I have no idea why every matte setting spray I use does the white dots on everyone else. Everyone says the same thing about the Basha white matte setting spray. It's always the matte ones. I've never had that problem. I shake it really well. I hold it far away from my face. Like, see my hand is stretched. I do have short arms, but still. And then I spray. I think this is gonna change what color I wear today. There's only so many colors you can wear with like this really, really white silver hair. Let's go get dressed and let's head out. I totally just realized I forgot to tell you what lip I'm wearing. I'm wearing the Velvet Lip Glide from NARS in the color Bound. I just wanted something soft and feminine and something that would match my outfit. Okay, Wendy watchers, you may or may not recognize this outfit, but this is actually from Wendy's HSN collection. It's my first time buying something from her collection, but she has some cute stuff and I saw her wearing this on her show the other day and I love matching PJ sets because, <laughs> let's be real. Okay, so I gotta head out, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I just got out of the meeting that ended up turning into an audition, like, bruh, like what? No idea what's going on. It went good though, it was fun. It was like one of those moments where like, if I don't do this now, I may not ever get this opportunity, so, it's not what I signed up for, but why not? We're here. I don't know. We'll see what. what oh, light. Okay, lighting. <laughs> but yeah, we'll we'll see what ends up happening. All right, I'm hungry. Let me get my butt on out of here. What are we serving? Oh, I think I'll take one. Why not? Thank you. Oh, is this a new palette? Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Let me not get too excited. No, the new foundation is gone. <gasps> Which one? It's in there. There's another new one? Yeah. Oh, you know they're my favorite. Say hi to a little Wait, <laughs> let's talk about this face though, girl. What are you wearing? You look bomb. Solish. And what sucks is that I actually like, messed up with the white ball out right before we came here. That's I was devastated. annoying. Anyway, tell Alyssa that we're gonna do mukbang though. We're really gonna do mukbang. I really wanna do one. Like, no, I'm it's so like serious. so corny that it's like, you can't not do it. <laughs> no, we're really gonna do it though, we are. No, I'm being so serious. Me too. I really wanna do it. So come try. <laughs> no, I'm telling you. This is what's new. She's really cute. Are you a narcissist? Well. <laughs> Are you guys narcissists? Oh my god, you guys look so bomb in this lighting, honestly. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. It's the light. You are glowing. Oh yes. Face is still slammed. I told y'all. I don't play when it comes to skin prep. I don't play. Can you imagine if I have this at home? Like a radiant, creamy dispenser? I can't. Hi, Brad Stall. Hi, boo. Oh, we have a new foundation from Mars that I'm gonna get shade matched for shortly. What's your shade, girl? Barcelona. This is some really dark shades. And these undertones are coming through. This is Macau. This is Marquises. And this is. What was the one? Belém. But Macau literally blends right in. We went with Macau. That's it. So, guess who decided to show up? He tried to wait until after they serve the food. He's, he's not slick. Well, first of all, <laughs> I was trying to be cute and, like, you know, show up after the fact because I already know, like, it was going to go down. We feel you. <laughs> I feel that. You're smart. And I'm coming for Jackie Summer 18. So. Stop. 